My guy, what's going on? How are you? Good? Doing great. Welcome to Paris. Thank you Welcome for having me. City. This is your city. Yeah. Thank and you now it's your city, okay? okay? Yes, sir. Hey! One shot. Everybody's ready? Okay. I'm so happy to see you again. Hello. Yes, it's a very big pleasure for me. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Love this. I'm so happy to see you again, uh, Stephen. Yes, ma'am. Can you explain us why you are here in Paris today? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be back. It's my second time in Paris and to, uh, to be here with Under Armour. Um, you know, we're here obviously to inspire, to help grow the game of basketball. Um, Under Armour's footprint is growing a lot more in Europe and I hope to be a part of that as, as we look to, uh, to bring more excitement around the brand and around basketball. And I know there's, you can see at this, this court here, there's so many young kids and the next generation that's you know, falling in love with the game of basketball and, and looking uh, for that inspiration and hopefully I can embody that for them as they uh, find their own passions for the game. I heard that you train at 6 o'clock this morning, is I that did. true? I did. I, uh, we flew in from Tokyo. Uh, I was on a tour in Asia for, uh, for three cities and uh, we landed at 5 a.m. this morning, went to the hotel really quick. And obviously, I have training camp starts for us in two weeks, so yeah. uh, we got to make sure I'm getting better and getting ready for hopefully another championship run this year. Um, but it's fun. I, I'm not tired, like I said, I think Paris brings a little bit more yes, out of you. That's for right, sure. that's right. Are you excited about the new season? I'm definitely excited. This is a, a great run we've had, obviously, winning three championships in the last four years. And uh, for us to kind of retool, recalibrate over the summer, enjoy the championship, but look forward to what it's going to mean to win another one this year. Uh, I'm excited about the opportunity, so got to you know, take advantage of this run you know, as long as we can. People talk um, about the Warriors like a dynasty now. How do you react about that? I like the thought. I mean, it's not for me to, to try to convince anybody that we stand um, as the best team ever or whatever. I think, obviously, in this era, we want to leave an imprint of how we, the style of play that we had, the type of guys that we had on our, on our team, the talent, um, but that we were winners. And I think we've accomplished that, but there, there's more out there for us. So. Uh, I don't want anybody to get complacent thinking, you know, our, our run is over or, you know, that we've we've got all the notches in our belt. At the end of our career, we'll talk about, you know, the dynasty part and, and all that conversation. But I'm, I'm trying to stay right here in the moment and enjoy what we got going on. You have the Marcus Cousins this summer. Yeah. You already have Kevin Durant, <laughs> Andre Iguodala, Draymond Green, you and Clay Thompson. Nobody can beat you now. I wish that was true, and we can't take anything for granted. And I think the, the best part about what we've been able to do with the talent we had is just put it all together. There's no guarantee that uh, because you have, like you said, Draymond Green, Andre Godala, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, now DeMarcus, uh, Sean Livingston, like, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be guaranteed to work. But it has to be a lot of sacrifice, a lot of thought and IQ to the game that has to go into it. Uh, and that's going to be the case this year, obviously, with DeMarcus. He brings another element to what we do, uh, but we're going to have to figure it out. And I'm excited about that opportunity, for sure. You have new teammates. Do you have a new role in this team? My role is going to stay the same in terms of you know, I need to be a playmaker, I need to be a scorer. Uh, I'm going to have to think the game a little differently in terms of balancing you know, all the talent that we have on the floor. I'm obviously the point guard who initiates most of the offense, so it's on me to, to really think through the game, think through the season, and especially when we get to the playoffs, um, knowing the challenges in, that are in the Western Conference this year. So um, I got to get better. And that's, I think, everybody How on our team. How can you do that? I can be more consistent. I can be a better decision maker on the floor with the basketball, and uh, continue to get better defensively. Uh, but I think. When I say I want to get better, staying at the top is a lot harder than getting to the top. And That's so, right. You know, for us to be where we want to be, uh, we all have to you know, elevate our game. That might not mean 
statistically, it, it looks differently. Um, but to the eye test and for how I feel walking off the court every day, I'll know. Do you still have pleasure when you play basketball every day oh. and every day? The, the, the game is still fun for me, for sure. Uh, I still have a joy when I play. There's no denying how hard it is year after year after year with the amount of games that we play, the stress that you, you deal with you know, mentally and physically, that it, it, it takes a toll. Um, this is a job, but the, when I step foot on the floor, I still have the same, you know, I get goosebumps and chills, and I still have the same adrenaline that I did, you know, back in high school, back in college, my rookie year, and on. So as long as I can hold on to that, no matter what else is happening, I'll still be able to wake up every day and feel good about, you know, what I'm doing. When did you understand that you are a shooter, a scorer? Is there a, ta a precise time? I knew I was a shooter since I was five. Like, that was my, the best thing I could do. I was always the shortest kid, so shooting from anywhere on the floor was always something that I loved to do. Uh, when I got to high school, actually, I was more of a, a playmaker. Yeah. And I had to be told to shoot a little bit more because I could shoot well. And so in college, that's when I started to figure out what type of player I really want to be and how I can make it in the NBA. What do you think gonna, about the new Lakers? It's going to be tough. Uh, obviously, we know LeBron's in L.A. now. Oklahoma City's uh, brought their team back together. We know how tough it was to beat Houston in the Western Conference Finals last year, and they brought most of their guys back and added Carmelo Anthony. So I could go up and down the list of every team that's in the West that was a playoff team last year or if they weren't. And, uh, It's going to be tough, so we got we got to elevate our game and understand that every night, not only is the competition tougher, they're still gunning for us, so we got to be ready. We met LeBron uh, last week. He told us that you are the team to beat. Do you agree with that? Oh, for sure. We're the champs. <laughs> Until we're beat, uh, I'm going to be comfortable calling ourselves the champs, and uh, that's a good feeling. An advice to the player like me who wants to be like you, to score, get, <laughs> shoot like you. How can I do that? I mean, obviously, if you watch the NBA, you watch <laughs> yeah. guys and how they go about their craft on the floor, you can learn something by just picking up uh, some of that basketball knowledge. But there's no shortcut to greatness. We all know you're sitting in this chair because you work hard at what you do. Yeah. Um, that made you the best at what you do. Same for us, same for any other industry. No matter what, it, you, what your passion is, the hardest workers usually rise to the top. Um, and that's, that's something that I, I, I really, you talk about what I did this morning, that's something that I really hold my hat on, uh, just trying to be the hardest worker out there. Um, that's why I can shoot from anywhere because I put up so many reps. So that if you want to do it, you got to put the time in. Thank you, sorry, Stephen. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Yeah, me too. I'll be back. My, me and my wife are coming back every year, yeah. so for sure. Very nice to meet you again. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am.